Last semester in my computer programming course. Living in a small town near Kingston, Ontario, Zane Kalman was initially excited about e-learning. Online courses gave him access to subjects not offered in his small high school, like writer's craft or computer coding. The reality was different. Workloads, I think, that were really unfair and teachers that didn't really understand the course material so they weren't much help when you tried to communicate with them. I'm getting this email from your teacher. Zane's mom, Angela, worries what will happen to her three younger sons when e-learning becomes compulsory this fall. She says it will mean hours-long access to computers that students might not have. We do have a computer at home, but it's certainly not dedicated to his use. An internet service is an issue. We have limited bandwidth where we live. It's expensive. Important links are on the side, the exam. Toronto teacher Behan Farhadi has studied the effects of e-learning on students for her PhD. I would say for the average student who really benefits from having a teacher ask them a question, about their learning, recognize and, and ask and getting the data from their answer and then filling the gaps in their knowledge. Like that takes a specialist. While compulsory e-learning experiment has never been done in Canada before, five U.S. states have some e-learning requirements with varying results. What makes a difference, says this expert, is whether it's properly funded. There are good e-learning environments and good e-learning teachers. The key is essentially how we design, deliver and support the instruction, regardless of the environment. A spokesperson for Education Minister Stephen Lecce told CBC News, we are proceeding with developing and implementing a Made in Ontario program that will ensure student flexibility, technological literacy and a vast selection of courses. What that means for Ontario families like the Kelmans is still unclear. For now, they're walking towards the future of learning that is full of promises and big unknowns. Deanna Sumanak-Johnson, CBC News, Toronto.